Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 20th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, giving a world update on space weather, world weather, and as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, and we had some pretty active filaments, and as well, CMEs, small flares, Coming from the bottom left side there, you can see a lot of activity, a lot of plasma coming up. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, a pretty active sunspot region is coming around along the southwestern limb as well. A fiery region north on the northern rim as well. Firing up in the last few images there. Looking at outgoing imagery, pretty quiet. And we do have some space weather heading our way due to Saturday night's CME. Just amazing images here. B-class solar flare and as well a coronal mass ejection in an Earth-directed position. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Also going to quickly look at the fiery region developing here and as well in the center of the disk. Right there. So active regions coming around to an Earth-facing position. Looking at the multi-spectrum here, look at all the events happening on the southwestern limb. Large plasma filaments ripping away solar flares, and a CME. Looking at 193 angstroms, you can see a very large coronal hole has developed in an Earth-facing position, and we can expect our wind speeds to increase over the next 24 to 36 hours as they are propelled our way. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, you can see that small CME blast was in an Earth-directed Earth position. Lots of activity affecting Mars, at Venus, and Mercury right now. And then we do have some incoming activity, 19th to 20th. Looking at the solar X-ray flux, we are hovering in the B-class range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. A real-time solar wind smacking us at 331 kilometers per second. And it's been pretty steady around 300. We're starting to see that increase now ahead of the space weather we are expecting. Looking at our magnetosphere to see how the pressure on our planet is looking right now. This is the last six hours. Our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 37. and a quality of 12.3. Earthquakes the last 24 hours, we've been pretty busy. And if I had put out an earthquake earlier about the deep earthquakes, you would have seen a forecasted large earthquake here because we had some deep ones. Fiji region, 500 or yeah, 597 kilometer depth, as well a 4.5, 556 kilometer depth. So we were expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow. Sure enough, the Tonga region, Rocked a 5.8, and as well, Kermadec Islands, a 5.2. That was at almost a 400-kilometer depth. And then we saw a pretty sizable 6.0 earthquake here. Kuril Islands in between Japan and Kamchatka, as well, a 4.4 there, 156-kilometer depth just southwest of that region. Lonely earthquake here, Indonesia, Babar, 4.5. Going into South America, where we're seeing some increased activity here through Chile, Talcahuana, Chile, 5.1 reported, as well as 4.4, 11 kilometer depth, 4.1 and a 4.2. South Sandwich Islands seeing a 5.4 as well, 79 kilometer depth, and a 4.7 at a 31 kilometer depth. couple of earthquakes here rocking Peru as well. Northern parts, South America, 
4.3 here in Pococha, Peru, 49 kilometer depth, as well as 4.3 in Tocopila, Chile, 17 kilometer depth. Increased seismicity here through the Virgin Islands, 3.7, 56 kilometer depth, as well in Haiti, 4.2 earthquake. So heads up, Haitians, you could be in the on the verge of another large earthquake through the region. Mexico is seeing a 4.2 here, 557 kilometer depth, and as well, Cruz Grand, Mexico, with a 4.6. Looking across the United States, only major earthquake to report here is Stanley, Idaho, the largest earthquake today, 3.8. No major swarms to talk about through the states. Just having a quick look at the USGS, minor earthquakes moving up into Washington. Regular small swarms through Salton Sea, the geysers, and as well, Smithville, Smith Valley. But we're also seeing some minor seismicity here, west of Yellowstone. 1 lonely earthquake there, 3.8 in Idaho. But then minor earthquakes here, west of Yellowstone, ranging between a 0 0.2 and a 1. Nothing major to report. Though I did want to share because that's the most activity that we've seen in the region all week. Heads up, stay safe, aware and prepared, and please have an earthquake plan. Have your go bag ready with all your emergency supplies and your important things ready. Continue on with earthquakes here. Large earthquake here to report Pahala, Hawaii, 3.6 at a 31 kilometer depth. And not much to report through the African plate, nor Indian plate. Very quiet all across Europe. And very quiet through the Atlantic plate as well. And there's a lot of pressure. Some big systems coming into the region, so watch for seismicity to increase over the next little while. A lot of it is being released in the La Palma volcano. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet, we do have some pretty deep ones to report. Fiji and as well Russia, South America. But these deep ones today, stay aware and prepared. I do not think that we're done for EQs on the day Seeing some minor activity through India right now. African plate. Definitely watching that as well. With all the activity through La Palma. And stay tuned tomorrow for the volcanic activity report and as well planetary positioning. Finally getting the time here to get things rolling. Doing the do. Heads up, Wanda Fuka. Very quiet over the last little while. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes to update. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Semis Nepochnoi. As well, La Palma in Spain. If you haven't seen the video there of the eruption, please check it out. Sangay in Ecuador. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala, Simaru, Indonesia, Nevada's de Rules, Colombia, Karamiski, Russia, Era in Japan, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, and Ibu, Indonesia. So that's about 15 volcanoes getting updated today, and Santa Maria is awake yet again. Two major storms to talk about here, Tropical Systems, Rose, and as well Peter out in the open oceans out in the open ocean of the Atlantic. As well, Tropical Storm Nicholas still kind of remnants. Lots of rain heading through Alabama, Georgia border and into Florida as that low pressure system is still hanging around trying to head northeastward. But as it does, it's going to be joining forces with another system and we're already seeing some intense extreme weather. Tornado warnings going throughout Duluth, Minnesota, as well as La Grosse, Wisconsin, 
So Minnesota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, please, heads up as you have tornado warnings and extreme weather throughout the night tonight. Having a look at satellite imagery, this is the last 12 hours across the Midwestern states. Very high cloud tops and as well, a lot of vortexes in between here, hence the tornado warnings. Center of the low is encroaching on Canada right now. So please, heads up, stay safe, aware and prepared tonight. Stay tuned to your local radio and TV stations. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and as well daily events worldwide. As we're going to start out here at home base, Ontario, we have a lot of rain heading in over the next few days here to Ontario and as well northward into Quebec, looking at about 60 to 70 millimeters over the next few days through parts of Ontario as the low pressure system there from Canada joins forces with that low coming out of Florida. Long line of moisture stretching across eastern parts of the United States and Canada in the long range. Watch for that big low to head straight towards Ontario and then race towards the Hudson Bay. Other than that, seasonably cool temperatures are moving in through parts of BC and Alberta and as well a lot of snow. Heavy snowfall warnings going out to parts of northern BC and the Alaska border. As that big low comes in Thursday into Saturday, so heavy snowfall warnings there, BC and Alaska and as well strong systems moving in through Ontario. Looking over the Atlantic, Tropical Storm Peter and Rose. Rose heading out into the middle of the Atlantic. Into the deep lower level surface low. As well watching some pretty strong systems affect Iceland. Overlooking Europe. Watch for those systems to come out of Iceland straight into parts of Eastern Europe. Join forces with another low heading towards Russia. So lots of weather heading towards Europe this week. Overlooking Russia, watching things really cool down with this big northern low. Cool temperatures definitely moving in parts of Russia. And very intense low pressure systems spinning around our North Pole right now. Overlooking the West Indies and as well Southeast Asia, the low pressure system heading from the Philippines this week into Thailand, and then a low pressure system heading from Thailand into Pakistan this week. And as well, another low pressure system still tucked up into parts of Tunisia, Western Pakistan. High pressure ridge building in for Australia this week, drying things out, but still, it's going to be unseasonably cool. Watch for weather to move into parts of southeastern Australia later in the week. Lots of rain heading towards New Zealand all week long, starting in the south of the island, moving northward. Interesting low-pressure system there in the Pacific. As well, watching that very strong system come into Alaska. Watch for an uptick in seismicity over the next 48 hours. Heavy snow and earthquake watch. Overlooking the Caribbean, another system building here in the long range. Not named yet, still just an area of interest, but looks to be following a more typical path instead of all the recent ones heading north. Overlooking South America, no major weather systems to report. As well, same with Africa. Low pressure system developing later in the week. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern point out the major systems affecting us across the planet. I want to thank everybody for watching. Get ready for the big cool down because it is coming soon, if not earlier than expected, in some areas anyway. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew because the winter's coming. Bye-bye now. Enjoy.
enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.